Hello and welcome to the 2019 Poker Chip Buying Guide. We're going to stick to stock poker chips for the most part, current manufacturer chips that you can buy stock at the beginning of 2019. So to better understand the chips before we dive into the details, we need to perform the industry standard. Put some chips in a blender and push some buttons and see what happens, test. Look at the damage here. When I say don't try this at home, I mean it. This is the second blender I've broken doing a poker chip review. It's almost like these blender manufacturers aren't thinking of poker chip reviewers. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to divide chips into four major categories. We're going to have our premium compression molded chips, china clays, ceramics, and metal slug ABS chips, along with plastic chips together in the same group. So talking about plastic chips, two general varieties, the metal slug, the metal weighted plastic chips, and the 100% through and through plastic chips. Obviously one's very heavy, one's very light. I'm gonna step through what you're looking at right here and then have the discussion about some of the pros and cons. So we have the Outlaw series, Dice Chips, Bicycle, Monte Carlo Poker Club, The Mint, Las Vegas Casino, Interlocking Chips. Yes, they still make these. And you can see what's inside the metal slug chips. And I've already shown you the plastic chip. So quick discussions about some of the pros. They're very inexpensive. You need a whole bunch of chips for not much money. It's easy to find these all over the internet for not much money. There's also quite a huge selection. This represents a very small percentage of the available designs out there. And the other thing that I really like about these is they are durable. You put a huge metal slug in plastic, it's gonna prove to be pretty durable. Yes, the labels, these are sticker labels, can be, depending on what you're getting, can be a little sensitive. They can also be misaligned. And that kind of segues right into the cons. If the labels are misaligned, then it will create a high spot on the chip and you can have some flatness issues. But generally speaking, you know, if those labels are correctly applied, they'll be pretty flat. Some of the less expensive chips, such as these dice chips, can have huge, huge flatness issues. Can you see how these rock? One of the reasons why when you pick up a stack of poker chips and sometimes they just like spray everywhere is because of flatness issues. So those are things to consider. We should move on to ceramics. You have to remember these are not your parent ceramic dishes. The material is actually a very hard plastic. You can see through the blend damage right here. A very hard plastic where they use a dye sublimation process to transfer the graphics onto these blanks. And before we get into the pros and cons, let me tell you what we're looking at here. We have the Tiki Kings, the Ravenor Classic, Scroll, Howdy, Crown Laurel, Nevada Jack Skulls, and the Escona. The first complaint is an opinion thing. Some people don't like the sound. They sound very bright and they feel of hard plastic. Now you know you can develop your own opinions if you aren't sure you can get a sample set. The other complaint is quality control as with almost any chip. Sometimes you're gonna find some spinners. A lot of them, I've had no problem with spinners. The Escona, the Tiki Kings have proven to be very, and the Nevada Jack Skulls have proven to be very well-made chips. The Scrolls also are pretty solid. Ravenor Classic, again, I haven't had a problem with spinners with these. So. The pros are a little bit opinion-based as well. First, they have good weight. They're very much the weight of a casino chip. There's no metal slug. There's no metal insert. They don't weigh a ton, and they're not super light. I feel like they're very well thought out as far as weight goes. They have good graphics. You can print pretty much anything on here. They look great, and they prove to be very durable, as they are a hard plastic. So we should move on to something a little bit softer. China clays are an interesting segment. We're talking about Milano's and Dunes in this segment. This one's the blender survivor. This one has been broken. And 
these are soft plastic. Uh, it's one of the cons that I would say, and I would use to describe this. The plastic they use releases VOC, volatile organic compounds. It smells like PVC. And you can see there's no metal insert, not weighted. The material itself is a heavier material, so they feel similar to a casino chip with a reasonable texture. Sometimes there will be label issues. The biggest problem are slightly off-centered labels that will cause rocking or chips that are not flat. Sometimes it's just the label that does that. Again, they have a good texture, so and they can be a little bit soft. They also attract dirt, like a normal casino chip would. These are not used in casinos, but they do attract dirt. And there's not a huge selection of these out there. On the opposite side, they have a good weight, a good feel, and the cost can be much less than a casino grade or a high-end premium compression molded clay chip. Moving on to premium compression molded clay chips. These chips feel and look very similar to a casino chip. And there is no metal slug, but they do weight these chips with heavy metals. For example, Classic Poker Chips, Key West right here, has brass powder that they use to weigh it down. So be aware of that when purchasing these chips. And we're going to discuss some of the cons first. The first con is there's not tons of selection. There is some selection. We have the Atlantic Club here, the Atlantic Club Hot Stamps, Elite, Monaco, Key West, and you'll find a few more options through Classic Poker Chip stock designs. Now, that said, they are premium chips, so they are going to cost generally more than a dollar, sometimes upwards of two dollars. And that's in the custom poker chip range. You could make your own compression molded premium clay classic poker chips for that cost. Something to consider. And like with all chips, they can attract dirt. But the pros for many people outweigh the cons. Like I described them, casino weight, casino feel, and they are very durable. You can see here through a blender, this elite held up very well. The other thing to consider is that they have these true inlays. These are not sticker labels. These do not just peel out. Your five-year-old isn't going to get his or her fingernail underneath these and peel these off. So what are my favorites? These are my top 10 and think of this as just my opinion to kind of get you pointed in the right direction so you can make your own decision. I really like, and this is in no particular order, just starting from the top left here, I really like the Atlantic Club. Both the hot stamps, which I think would be great for tournaments, and the inlaid version. Key West, lovely chip, some of my favorites. The Monaco, definitely, for what you're getting, an incredible value. Dunes and Milano's kind of the same thing. Just depending on what you're looking for, lovely china clays, you get that casino feel for an affordable price. Now, ceramics. I already have some Tiki Kings looking to buy some more. I may or may not, depending. And Ascona. The Ascona are a hybrid, so they do have that glossy label in there. However, they feel amazing. Absolutely love these chips. And Scroll, again, just in the value equation of things, it's such a good value for your money. The Outlaw series is one of my favorite metal slug chips, along with Monte Carlo Poker Club. Ooh, shiny. I hope this was helpful. We are sponsored by PokerChipForum.com. One of the best tools is the Poker Chip Calculator. If you're wondering how many of each denomination you should buy, definitely go to PokerChipForum.com and use their Poker Chip Calculator. And if you visit the affiliate Amazon shop in the link in the description below, I make some proceeds from every sale that goes through that shop. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. My name is John Hobby.